Good day to you people, my name is Thomas, and welcome back to the Cat Lady. So, last time we left off, we, um, we investigated to... Okay, yep. <laughs> so, we investigated some more flats, and we managed to get out of that hellish nightmare, whatever it was. So, we figured out that Joe and his, well, his supposed wife is um, not in flat three, uh, so that only leaves us with two more flats. Flat six, Brian, and flat se no, flat five, the old man. And in this episode, since I want to progress much quicker, since um, I've got revision to do, and, and <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this, uh, but hey, I'm doing it for you people, so you better be goddamn happy. <laughs> but um, do this, then, there, there, sorry. So, I'll be using the uh, walkthrough, which I have on my phone, to progress um, a lot. So, it's, it, it may not seem enjoyable to you, but, yeah, whatever. Anyway, so, go to flat 7 on the 4th floor. Okay. Do, do flat, wait, what? Flat 7? What's that? I, actually, are we on the... Uh, oh, actually, come to think of it, is this the plant seven we're supposed to go to? Probably. Pick lock. We've already done that. I just opened the door now. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, we pick locked this door. And then if we grab one of the ha ha uh, we'll take the hockey mask. There we go. So we're making uh, the weird um, thingy so we can get, gain access to Brian's flat. So then, uh, oh, what's about to get? Enter out the Halloween mask and take the hockey mask. Walk right to the next room and interact Jesse's PC to use it. What? Where was Jesse? Who is Jesse? Uh, no, 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 no. So good to it. Go to the. F oh yeah, I remember we um connected the um. Did we have a look at the? Did we have a look at the computer? Yeah, we did. So we found out there was nothing. That it, what that? I think I haven't checked. <laughs> okay. Uh. Ba, 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 so it goes to the. Bed. Take the red paint. Okay. Um, I think that was in flat two and one. Let's go and uh, find this red paint. Uh, haha, -ha, red paint. Up. Oh. Okay. Uh, what if I? Nope. Uh, it's not the red. Now, where is that red paint? Nope. Whoever's in the toilet upstairs, could you please keep it down? There's a constant flushing sound, like... Okay, so... Is it on the ground floor? Where is that red paint? Red paint. I need to find some red paint. Red paint, come on. Aha! Open. It is stuck. Dried up paint is holding it firmly. Uh, I need some tools to praise it open. Uh, scissors? Uh, screwdriver? Aha! I can easily press it open with a screwdriver. Excellent. Done. I can pick up the tin now. And it's open. I can pick up the take. Okay, then we combine it with the dress. Uh, tin. Nope. Uh. 
screen dummy. Uh, hang back. Okay, then we use the red paint. Not a great color for your bedroom walls, but it would be perfect for writing a message on the walls instead. It worked for Joey Davis anyway, unless, of course, those three sixes on his bedroom door were written in real blood. Why can't I use the red paint? Do I need something else? Scissors? No. What can you tell me, Mr. Walkthrough? Uh. Do 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 do. Take the red. You, um. Take the white dress and the dummy. Get it black. Hand this back on the sewing dummy. Then use the scissors to cut the sewing dummy. Hmm? Oh, that makes sense. Then we'll cut. Uh, we need to make some adjustments. Oh, uh, the text did not appear. Now this is a dress worthy of the cat widow. <laughs> Why don't you admit it was too small for you? Ha ha, bloody ha. Why don't you just shut up? Whoever wore this dress probably hadn't eaten in years. You'd struggle to get a skeleton into it. <laughs> this is it. We've got all we need. Great. Are you going to tell me about the cat widow now? Yes. It's story time, Mitzi. <laughs> the legend says there was once a bad man who hated cats. He hated his neighbors too, and his job. And when it rained, he'd curse and smash things. He hated his bald head and his weak, ugly body. He probably hated himself the most, although he would never admit it. I think I see where this is going. There's a bit of a glitch. One day, out of pure hatred for the whole world and everything that lives, he captured a family of cats and drowned them all in the river. Ooh. That day, the sun turned black and all the birds went silent as the six kittens struggled for life. But, trapped in a strong canvas bag, they never had a chance. They all died that day. All but one. The mother cat, in a desperate fight to set herself free, by pure luck, clawed her way out of the bag and swam to the shore. She lost everything that day. Her beautiful children and her proud husband. Her heart crashed into pieces as she watched their limp, dead bodies stolen by the current. Running after them, she followed them for days, for as long as she could. Then, eventually, she lost sight of them. She stayed on the bank of the river for a while. The world stopped turning for her, her eyes empty and blind. And then... One day, she slowly slid down the bank and into the cold, dark water. She gave in to it. She let the river take her away too, cover her mouth, her ears, her eyes. But as the water filled her lungs, and she started slipping into darkness, there was another strange feeling that burst in her mind like a ball of flames. Anger. Rage, even. Her last craving, before she drowned, was for revenge. For blood. And so she returned, reborn and changed. A cat widow, veiled in black, mistress of the cats. Her body of a young woman, but her eyes of a cat. And her face white, rotten, face of a corpse. Those who saw it rarely lived to tell the tale. She would get her revenge on all cat killers and cat torturers, but there was someone she had to see first. Someone special. Someone she really hated the most. Ooh. Oh, hello. What's this? As the evening came, it was strangely quiet in the man's flat. As he lived alone, he usually liked to fill the silence with the sound of radio or TV shows. But that night, 
he switched them all off, feeling anxious and tired after work. He tried to sleep, but couldn't. And for once, there wasn't anyone there he could blame for it. Who are though? As he stared through the window, he kept thinking about how much he hated that view. He liked it once, a long time ago, when his wife was still there and they were happy together. Suddenly, he heard knocking on the door. Some part of him was glad, because that meant he could take it out on whoever decided to bother him. I bet it's the cat's widow, whatever his name is, or, yeah, the cat widow. Boom, 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 boom. There was nobody there. He almost felt disappointed, but before he turned to walk away, he suddenly noticed something down the hall. Ooh. On the nearby wall, there was a giant shadow of a cat. He noticed a shadow of a cloaked figure standing ahead. Uh, a dead body of a dis disemboweled cat hung on the radiator. I'll go for the second one. He noticed a shadow of a cloaked figure standing ahead. And it scared him shitless. Oh. Oh, um. He stopped again. He couldn't believe his eyes. Someone wrote the cat kill on his door. There was a cat's skull stuck on the seat of his bike. Um. I'll go for the top one. Someone wrote cat killer on his door. He had a passion for trains. Although he hated being a train driver, he had always enjoyed watching them move. But now, his train model was moving all on its own. He was absolutely certain he'd left it switched off. <laughs> yet, there it was. Moving Remote along. Speed. Remote control missing. Something was seriously wrong. And that something had entered his home now, too. He hoped he was just imagining things, tired as he was. But there was another surprise waiting for him in his bedroom. I bet. A giant blood-soaked zombie cat on his bed. Cat Widow is here written all over the wall. Cat Widow is here was written all over the wall. Oh, hello. Bum. As in a dream, he went to the kitchen to get a... kitchen to get a drink. Um, I'll go to the top As one. As in a dream, he went to the kitchen to get a drink. Oh. There was no water. But blood. He knew there were valves in the basement that turned it off. But no one's been down there for years. He felt sick. None of this made any sense. And yet, deep down, he knew what he did to the cats was wrong. There was a part of him that almost wanted to be punished. The part he tried so hard to hide. He thought he'd heard something in the corridor. Was there someone there with him? Oh, I saw the shadow. His head was spinning. He felt ambushed, trapped, like an animal. He had to get out of there. Well, Getting the first really one. scared now, he decided to call the police. His phone was of no use. The SIM card had been removed, and that wasn't even the worst part. 
there was a photo of a black cat set as screensaver. He remembered this cat. He'd watched that strange pest control man put it in a cage and into his van. He'd looked at it through the window for a while, then pulled the curtains and went to bed. He stopped, paralyzed. He'd heard something right in front of him. A whisper, more like a her. She was there. Dun, dun, dun. In the dark corner of his living room, waiting. Black veil covering that pale, dead face. And yet, he could almost feel Cat Widow's eyes piercing through him. Cat Widow aimed a shotgun at his chest and fired. She came closer like a ghost, swiftly removed. She came closer like a ghost and swiftly removed the veil. She came back for him, to take him to the river, to make him pay for what he'd done. As he looked into her eyes, he could feel the world spinning around him, his knees go weak, his pants suddenly wet around his crotch. <laughs> as much as he hated life, he didn't want to die either. Inside, he was just a big, stinking coward. And then... He fainted. Ha ha ha! Did you see his face? I knew he'd fall for this. Yeah, we scared the living shit out of him. Now that's teamwork. Are you sure he won't know it was you, though? Oh, he probably will, once he's had time to think about what happened. But he's too proud to ever admit he's been beaten by a woman. I know him just about enough to know that. <laughs> Let's hope so. I don't want you to get in trouble because of me. No. That was something I had to do for myself. And I feel much better for it. I'm sorry if you can't the see the text. I don't know why it's not showing up. Found Eye of Adam. Because it definitely isn't Brian. I've searched through his laptop. So... And all I Let's cross him off the list. <laughs> well, we definitely know it's not him. Oh, uh, Mr. Bourne. I don't know why he didn't show up with the text, but uh, hopefully you guys could um, hear that. But that was kind of funny. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Also, that um, that veil thingy, my Bobby, she can't, it kind of looks like the Prince of Persia warrior within when you put on that mask. Reminded me of that. I would like to play that game again sometime. That was a really good game. So edgy. So dark. Okay, so the last one is the old man. And that has to be the Eye of Adam. Check the map. So, flat five. Okay, flat five. Which is this one. Um, knock. Would you like to talk to him? Sure. I'll pretend I'm doing one of those customer surveys. Old people usually have time to answer lots of stupid questions. Oh, they whoops. just want some attention, Mitzi. Nearly... My clock nearly fell down. Is he gonna answer the door? Oh. Hello there, sir. If you could spare us just a few minutes of your time, we'd like to ask some questions about your internet service provider. I'm not interested. I don't have any money. Go bother someone else. Oh. But we're not trying to sell anything. It's just a little survey. What? Wait a second. I, I can't hear what you're saying, sweetie. Uh, let me get my hearing aid. Think he'll be back with a shotgun? Silly. This isn't America. Uh, I thought I heard someone. What did you want? 
Uh, do you own a computer connected to the internet? Do you live alone? Do you own computer connected to the internet? Say again? Right. Okay. Do you- I can't hear you very well, dear. You'll have to speak up. I'm an old man, you know. I'll be 85 this year. Um, do you have a computer? Do you have a computer? There's no need to shout. I've got my hearing gate. I can hear what you're saying. Sorry. A young, pretty lady like yourself wouldn't understand about old age. We live in two different worlds, dear. And if you're here to make fun of me, why won't you just go ahead and be done with it? No, no. With all respect, I... I just wanted to ask if you by any chance own a computer. Pardon? A computer! Wait a second, dear. I think I need to change the batteries in my hearing aid. <laughs> Jesus. To switch them off last oh, night. come on! I'll be right back. No, wait. Jesus. I don't think I've got enough patience for this, Mrs. A. Yes. To be honest, the chances that he's our guy are pretty slim. I think we should go. Yeah, this is pointless. Uh, even if he did have a computer, he probably wouldn't even remember how to switch it on. Um, Unless he's not alone. You should ask him about that before we go. Oh, uh, okay. I should have asked that. Can I help you? No, thanks. We're fine. Have you found some batteries? What? I don't want to buy anything. I told you before, I'm not interested. You must be- I don't have any money. Oh, you have to don't be- bother someone else. Oh, you have to be joking. Do you live alone, then? Do you live alone? When you're an old man like me, you end up watching all your friends and family die. I'll be 85 this year, but I can still cook my dinner, and I make my bed every morning, all by myself. I don't care! So, you do live alone, then? Look, young lady, I don't need any help. Oh my I've told God. them already. I can manage just fine. I'm sure I you can. I can still cook my dinner, and I make my bed every morning all by myself. Uh. And not that it's any of your business. When I die, I'll die in my own home, in my own bed. Uh, I'm honestly not trying to take that away from you. We're just here to ask about... I will not have anyone washing me, or, or dressing me, or feeding me. Of the... I can manage. I've done it all my life. I um. stay this way. I can still cook my bed, and, and I make my dinner every morning. Are you gonna be... Myself. Oh. Are you done yet? God, now what? Uh, sorry to have bothered you, sir. We'll go now. I didn't mean to pry. Please accept my apology. Uh, give it the I second one. I didn't mean to pry. Please accept my apology. No, no, no. It's, it's me who should be sorry. I haven't even offered you ladies a cup of tea. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Mary always liked her tea milky. She put the tea bag in the milk in first and... And then, finally, she'd add hot water. I kept telling her it's the wrong way, but she never listened. She was always so stubborn, my Mary. I miss her every day. I'm sorry you know. for your loss. Are you the Eye of Adam? Yeah, go. Sorry to have bothered you, sir. We'll go now. I'll see you later, ladies. Next time I'll do the talking, yeah? He's tough. Wouldn't answer a single question. But he can't possibly be an internet whiz. Yep, he's just a lonely old man. Let's cross him off the list. But then we have no one else then. So, the Eye of Adam is nowhere. Well, that means we've checked everyone. We've hit a brick wall. Oh, I think you're... Perhaps I was wrong. Maybe he doesn't live here at all. I think we need to sleep on it, and we might get some more ideas in the morning. Shall we head back home? Yeah, I do feel tired. You're right. We need some sleep. 
Indeed. Thanks, Susan. It meant a lot that you came with me today. What's that? A note? Oh, hello, what's this? What does it say, Mrs. A? Oh, I don't know. But I'm about to check. You will not believe it. Oh, who is it? At midnight, both of you. I will wait. Flat five. Door will be open. Fla Do not fear. Eye of Adam. Oh my god! Why? That's the old guy. It can't be. No, it's not. It can't be him. No, it's not. It's. I guess we'll find out. No, it's not. It's Joe and. Midnight. <laughs> Hey, no. We've got a few hours until then. Let's get some coffee. Okay. That was, um, odd. Very odd. Oh, hello, what's this? Hello? Um... Okay, uh, it's what? What? Oh, what the hell? It's just you and me, my love. Oh, what the hell? We'll find us No, here. no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Stop worrying, Ivy. It will be all right. Oh, what I the will hell? I always love you. Oh, sure. You know that. No, you don't. I'm going to make you all better. No, you're not. <coughs> oh, Jesus. <coughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay, what in the name of bloody hell was that? Chapter 7, onto the Eye of Adam. Don't feed the troll. Time <laughs> time, Papa, they won't. Oh, can I? I, I can't. Oh, hello. Boom. Boom. Oh, what the hell? Hi there, creepy doll. Nice to see you again. What a beautiful setting of the moon. Oops. Oops, excuse me. Oh. Dum 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 dum. Right, eye of atom. There's just, uh, huh. Yeah, I think it might be some kind of glitch, because I don't know why the subtitles are not showing. I'll have a look for it later, but hopefully you guys can hear it, so. Fish tank. Don't like the look of that water. There isn't a single f fish in the tank. Just look at this door. Crazy son of a bitch. What? That's not going to stop us. I think there's someone in the kitchen. Are you... Are you Adam? Me? No, of course not. I don't have anything to do with all this foolishness. Never have. It's my son. I've told him time and time again, but he never listens. I've done my best to protect that boy, you know. I'm all he's got left in the world since his mama died, but... Just wasn't enough. Oh. Where is he then? Where's I of Adam? I imagine I imagine he's, he's in his room. Where else would he be? The danger keep out place? He's always in his room. Staring at that screen for as long as he can. What? Is he dead? Look, I've made up my mind about this. I want to help you. 
This mess he's in, it's gone too far. I don't, I, I, I can't be part of this. Is he what are you talking about? bonkers? Oh, you don't understand. He's watching us. Right now, he can see us on his camera. Oh, oh he's very clever with this stuff. Or maybe... I never got my head around it. Just as much as I needed to, I guess. But not a lot. Give us the key to his room. I want to talk to him. Look, it's a trap. He knows why you're here, and he will kill you. Why? Both of you. But he will not kill me. He won't dare. All these years, I've looked after him well. He owes me everything. It breaks my heart to do this now. What choice do I have? He left me this. I was supposed to keep it for myself. But I want you to take it. He won't dare to kill his own father. And I won't let two innocent lives be lost because of him. What is it? Just take the damn thing. There's not much time. Didn't you hear me? He's watching. Um, okay, yeah, I'll take the... Take the box. What is it, Mrs. A? It's a shoebox. Take it away. Get rid of it. He must see that I don't have it anymore. See what? Shall we open it? A gas oh, mask? God. Mitzi, we have to get out of here. Quickly. It's a gas mask. He's going to poison us. Go, 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 go. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh. Oh my. Oh. Oh no. Out, 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 out we go. Up we go. It's too late. Shit. Oh, shit, shit, shit. No. Stop that, Adam. You're going to kill your father. We'll never make it to the door. That room is filling up with gas too quickly. Put the mask on, Mrs. A. What about you? No, no, I can't. You've got to. This is your only chance. I... No. I can't let you die. Not like this. Oh, no! I thought that you're here. I'm dying anyway. And you... You've got to live, Mrs. A. Yeah, but I'm in... And you'll be happy again. Yeah, but I'm immortal. I cannot die. friend, Mrs. A. G give the master Miss no. Mitzi. You've got a date. And I'll make sure you turn up for it. I can't. There is no time Just to Just put on the mask! I'll be fine. Now. Do it! Do it! And besides, I'm immortal! I can't See. die! Look at that! <laughs> Look at that dramatic pose. Don't worry, I'm immortal. I can't die. Jeez, don't be so over exaggerated. Oh, now I'm back here. I wonder what is this place? It's the same place we were before. Oh. I guess we'll just have to keep moving forward and see what happens. Oh, hi there. Hi there, old raggedy aunt. Welcome home, darling. I've been waiting for you. What took you so long? Say what you've got to say and let's finish this. I'm tired of you. I'm tired of all this madness. I just need to get back. Very well. 
I'm not planning to keep you long. Let's go inside. I have one last job for you. Oh, what is this last job, you may ask? There are still two candles left, Susan. You know how this works. A soul for a soul. And that's it. I blow out the last candle, and I'll never have to see you again. Only if you blow out the right one, I'll never bother you again. What? Oh, come Isn't on! Isn't that what you want? But if you choose wrong, it will be your life extinguished forever. No, 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 no. Take a deep breath and do it. But how should I know which one's right? That's the thing, Susan. You can't know that. In life, you can't always know the consequences before you make a decision. Haven't you learned that yet? That's not fair. Nothing is fair. Uh. You opened your heart talking to that doctor, and he butchered you like an animal. Then, those disgusting cannibals, they chop you up and cook you for dinner if you'd let them. Oh, so they were what cannibals! About the man with the flowers? All that he wanted was to hear you play before he split your skull open. Oh, that was the man! Oh, the from way the past! Your husband treated you. Oh my the way god! Your neighbors laughed at you for years just for being different. Oh my god! You did not deserve all that. And yet, it happened. Am I forgetting something? N no, you're not. <laughs> oh, yes. Of course. Most of all, was it fair that... Shut up! Just shut up, you ugly bitch! Damn, I'm now fighting I back! You really are. All those feelings I had in me for years. That bitter guilt and self-pity. That hatred for myself and everyone else. You are that miserable illness that's consumed my heart all these years. You, always there, always. Today I looked at you in the mirror, like a dark cloud I couldn't see through. I let you take control of my life. I believed it was right to feel like this. But not any longer. This ends here. Then blow out the candle. Ah, oh, bugger! Blow the left, left, right. Ah, uh, ah, uh, no! Oh, fuck! Um, ah, shit! Can I save the game here? Off, oh, bugger me, bugger! I can't. But I guess it doesn't really matter. I could just come back to right here. Then I'll just pause this recording. So, uh, right. Well done, Susan. <gasps> yes! Woo! Tomato. Oh, I'm back. You were thinking about a tomato, right? Yep. Wait, so what about the Eye of Adam? Who's this Eye of Adam? Hi there. Tomato is a fruit, silly. <laughs> Who cares? I like tomatoes. So do I. But I hate to disappoint you, but I was really thinking of onions. Why onions? They're the saddest of the vegetables, of course. They make people cry. I... What happened, Mrs. A? I saw you die. And yet, you're here. I'm a tough girl. Alive, like... If nothing's ever happened. I'm a tough girl. Well, let's put it this way. Everyone knows cats have nine lives. So do cat ladies, apparently. Ha 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 ha! the title! Time, I feel there won't be second chances. I'm down to one last life now. Oh. I can't afford to waste it. Uh, okay. You are such a nutter, Mrs. A. So we cannot you die. Absolutely fucking bonkers. Oh, so we can die now. But I'm so happy to see you. Never, ever do that to me again, alright? I'll be fine. I can happily promise you that, Mitzi. 
Okay, let's find this. I of uh, Adam. His room is through that door. It's time to face the eye of Adam. That's pretty odd. His um. What are we waiting for? Let's, let's go. Do. It's pretty odd. There's one chair in a bathroom stall. All right. Whoa! Hello. What a massive. Oh. Okay. What the hell? You're. You're the eye of Adam. A pathetic wheelchair bound invalid. Is this a joke? Do you. Do you know who I am? Do you know what you've done to me? No. You fucking murderer! Tonight it's your turn to die. I'm gonna paint this room with your brains and I'm gonna watch. And smile. I swear to God I'll do it. Well? Nothing to say? Nothing at all? Aren't you going to beg for your sad little life? Say something! Anything! I don't think he can. Mitzi, where did you get that gun from? It doesn't matter. Please, Mrs. A. This is something I have to do. You are free to leave if you want. You don't have to be a part of it. Just try to understand. Beg for forgiveness, you scum. What the fuck is wrong with you? You don't believe I'm gonna shoot you, do you? Oh, I've dreamt of this moment for so long. Look at this man, Mitzi. He hasn't twitched a muscle since we entered the room. I think he's I think dead. he's paralyzed. That's... That's impossible. He's lying to us. He's faking it. Do something. Talk for God's sake. I need you to answer me. I need to know. He won't answer you. He can't talk. Then... How did he post all that stuff online? Oh, hello, what's this? Uh, we meet at last. How... How did he do it? I think I know how. See that little device on his left eye? I've heard about these. It's a controller. It seems the only part of his body he can move is his eyeball. Controller connected to the computer tracks its movement, allowing him to... What? That's ridiculous. Oh. I don't even know such things. I'm a nurse? I've seen these before. Well, I've seen eye-controlled wheelchairs, but there's no reason why it wouldn't work with a computer. That would explain the whole Eye of Adam thing. <laughs> yep. He really is just the Eye. But... No. That doesn't change anything. He must die. He, he must die! Oh, what's he typing now? Do it. What? You arrogant shit. I will fucking do it. Just tell me one thing. One thing. Why? Why did you make Jack kill himself? What is your reason, Jackie boy? Pull the trigger and you'll find out. Fine. It'll be a pleasure. Ready to die, scumbag? Look at the oxygen tank. I don't think it's a good idea. You lied to me. You never said you wanted to kill him. We'll go for the first one. Look at these oxygen tanks. 
I don't think it's a good idea. Because if you shoot an oxygen what? tank... Why not? That's I'm a the one holding a gun here. Yeah, but look and at I it! I will blow this bastard's brain out. No! Did... As soon as he looks at me. No! That's not the thing! You hear me? No! Look at me! I want you to see what you've done! No! The pain <laughs> you've caused me! Mitzi, that's not what I meant. Just put the gun down for a second. No! No. I can't do that, Mrs. A. Oh no! I'm sorry. Oh no 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 no. I have to. Can't you hear that hissing sound? These cylinders are clearly leaking gas. Please stay out of it! You'll make a whole room blow up! I don't care! Just leave me alone! You lied to me. B, you... Uh, I don't want Mitzi to die! You lied to me. You never said you wanted to kill him. Now, wasn't that quite obvious? What did you think I wanted to do? Have a coffee with him? Chat about the weather or, or politics? For God's sake, I'm here because this son of a bitch needs to die. If I don't kill him now, he'll just carry on and more innocent people will lose their lives. Do you really want that? Because I don't. This isn't the way to do it, just turn the computers off instead. This isn't the way to do it. Just turn these computers off instead. No! He doesn't deserve to live after what he's done. No, don't- And who are you to serve justice like this? Do you really want to kill an unarmed, paralyzed man? Why are you doing this, Mrs. A? I thought you were my friend! I am your friend! exactly why I'm doing this? Even if we survive the explosion, how will you be able to live with yourself? I won't have very long to live with it. I'll manage just fine. Um... Think about it, would Jack really want this? Think about it for a second. Would Jack really want this? This bastard messed with Jack's head. He tricked him. That's what he does. He fucking tricked him. But would Jack really want you to become a murderer? No. He wouldn't. Yes! He wasn't violent at all. Put the gun the down. Coolest, sweetest guy I ever knew. Put the gun down! Exactly! Put the gun now, down! Put that gun down already! Come on! But what about me? No, I'll do it! I know Jack will forgive me. No! Just... Without his father, he's harmless! Without his father, he's harmless. He was the one who supplied him with all this technology. He fulfilled his every single wish. I know this guy's rotten bad. There's no excuse for what he did. But he will be punished for it. Trust me. They'll put him in some stinking nursing home. He'll live his life like a vegetable. Stuck to bed, he'll have time to think about what he's done. And he'll never see a computer screen again. Isn't that enough? He said, do it. He wants to die and I want to kill him. Yeah, but the... He wants all, uh, all us all to die. Can't you see that? He wants us all to die. Can't you see that? Isn't that what he's been preaching? A joint suicide. That's why he wants you to shoot him. So we can all get blown to pieces. His final act. The work of his life. Are you really going to give him that satisfaction? Remember what you said about feeding the troll? That's exactly what you're going to do if you kill him now. No. You're right. You should leave, Mrs. A. I'd never want you to get hurt. But I'm not going away without this fucker dead. No! If that means I die too. Oh no! Come Mrs. on! Have you lost your mind? You're going to sacrifice your life for this scum? He's a parasite! A worthless, evil piece of shit! It's not like I've got anyone to live for, is it? You've got me! What? What about your mother? Your family? She's dead! Yeah, I lied. I always lie. I grew up in an orphanage. 
My family never wanted to know me. The only person that cared about me was Jack. And he's dead! I care about Jack. you! Happy now? So get the fuck out of here and let me do what I got to do. But I care about you! Do it for me. I care about you. Do it for me. I did it! <laughs> Come on, mate. It's been a long day. Let's go home. We've won. Have we really? Trust me. I know we have. How? I'm the cat lady. From now on, I win every single day. Yep. Imagine if he suddenly said, Oi, get the fuck back here! <laughs> Oh, hello. So the eye of Adam was just a paralyzed man. Who would have known? It's me, again. Oh, hello. Talking about my ordinary little life, as usual. I'm still surprised anyone would want to read this at all. The ramblings of a cat lady. Maybe I'm not a cat lady anymore. Things have changed here since Mitzi's death. Oh. I'll never forget those last few weeks. It's a horrible way to die. Stuck in a hospital bed with no hope and whole life to pass you by. Six months ago, I lost the best friend I'd ever had. But at least we knew it was coming. Mm. I had time to accept it, just like she did. And I can only be glad we spent that time together. I still miss her though, every day. Did I ever mention I got into all this because of her? Who? What? I opened her laptop the night after the funeral. And there it was. A friend request. Over huh? a year old. A little gift from behind the grave. I met some people. We go out sometimes. Oh, that's... And that... I'm not alone anymore. Uh, that... It turned out there were that's others really cool. like I did. I talked to them. Aww. Tried to help. Uh, oh, hello. Just cry. I wish that uh, it's not your fault, but that was, uh, but that was the past. Give your. I can't think this. All I could do is cry. The sickness doesn't have a cure. So you, uh, you can come out of this. Uh, just stay positive and any kind. Someone else I know to deal with this kind of pain. I told myself to blah 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 blah. Uh, I can't promise that it's easy, but you can come over this. Just try and stay positive. Uh, I self harm today, first time. Blah, blah, blah. Not in a good place. We have any family or friends? And now you, to help you. I'm writing this blog. Ooh. I must confess, yesterday was bad. What? It was one of those days when you feel like you're back in the past, and all the good stuff that happened was just a dream. Ooh, hello. What's this? What a nice day. But I woke up today, feeling better. Maybe I can never get rid of it. This invisible illness. Maybe it will always be living somewhere deep inside me. Asleep. Waiting. And when it'll hit me, it'll hit me hard. So this is the, I imagine this is the gravesite of Mitzi, then. But if there's one thing Mitzi taught me, it's that you have to pick yourself up and carry on. It doesn't matter that life isn't fair. It doesn't matter that you make mistakes. You fall and rise again. Worlds full of liars, traitors, cowards. But every now and then, you meet someone like Mitzi, who will just smile at it all. Now, 
I've forgiven the world and myself too. I teach myself to smile again. Ooh. One day I'll get there. Hello. I know I will. Even if it takes me not nine, but nine hundred lives. <laughs> what? We did it! Yeah! We did it! We, uh, finished the cat lady. That was, um, really sad that, um... I'm gonna take my headphones off, it's quite loud. That was, a uh, that was a really, really, really good, um... I really enjoyed this series. Very dark, I love the puzzles. Oh my god. This... Ever since we started this series, I knew it was going to be good, and... It satisfied me to... to bits puzzles, the dark twists and turnings of it, and, oh my god, this is really, really brilliant, but I do have one thing, though, what happened to Joe and his wife, what was the 666 on his wall? Um, I do know that there's, like, different kinds of endings to this game, um, but it will probably take me ages to, like, read it all over it again, so I'll probably just, um, look them up on, um, YouTube and just see what other endings there are, but either way, we managed to, well, kind of delay Mitzi's quick death, but in the end, even if she did die of, um, cancer, it was nice to, you know, spend six months with her and all, and all that. I, I felt really, really incredibly sad. It's just... It's just that Susan, who has this long time depression, has been suffering all her life, finally meets someone who makes her happy again. And in the end, she becomes happy, even if she loses her best friend and she meets many more friends. It's a really, really, really good ending. One of the best. But either way, guys, that is the cat lady. I really enjoyed this series, and now I can um, look at some other games to play around to show you, and uh, yeah, just do that, I suppose. So, anyways, guys, that was the cat. Oh, I've said that twice now. <laughs> anyways, guys, here you go. If you enjoyed this video, I'll um, I'll leave the credit. Oh, press any key to live. Hey there guys, if you probably didn't know what just suddenly happened, when it says the key to live, it exited the game. That was pretty clever of it to do that. <laughs> but, yeah, um, I, we just seen through the whole credits and whatever. So anyways guys, there was the cat lady, even though I said that three times now, but I don't care. Um, like I said, I can, um, look at some more game, um, games and, um, you know, do that kind of thing. Uh, thank you for joining me on this um, on this really, really, really brilliant series of um, The Cat Lady. It was really, really enjoyable. I definitely recommend it to anyone I see. If you're a big fan of the horror the type or puzzle genre, recommend the hell out of it. Anyways, guys, that's it. If you want to see more videos like this, why don't you comment, favorite, like, uh, uh, comment, favorite, and subscribe to see more content like this. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye, my friends.